Happy Sunday, my brothers and my sisters. I would like to present to you with my top three gospel songs that healed my soul. This is a list compiled of beautiful melodies that helped me through a tough time or obstacle. But most importantly, these songs helped me improve my relationship with God. So what makes a good gospel song? Well, I won't bore you with the semantics or a metaphysical explanation about gospel music. But I will introduce you to my simplified gospel progression triangle. This is a quick way to follow the format of a good gospel song. Allow me to demonstrate using this song. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. Whew. I still get chills every time I hear that. But the format is fairly simple. The buildup is always at the beginning of the song. The praise or the climax is when the height of the testimony is reached. And of course, the ending is the resolve. Never Would Have Made It is an easy choice for number three. There hasn't been a song that so beautifully summed up all the trials that the Lord has delivered us from. As he continues to do so today. To me, this song is about perspective. Marvin Sapp's outstanding performance is only elevated by the stunning choir and the instrumentals. Truly a memorable gospel song. Saints, we've all been there. When it seems like we can't go any further and we're at our lowest points, that's when God's grace is there to embrace us and keep us moving forward. Kirk Horror and Company exquisitely put into song a saying that my mom would always tell me. God never puts more on you than you can handle. What a beautiful performance. Now I know what you're thinking. How the heck did a top three gospel song list feature Kanye West? Well, this song not only touched my heart like no other song has, but the configuration of this masterpiece nails each and every part of the gospel progression triangle flawlessly. Power. Jesus, you're the only power. Power. That can save this world today. I'm sure this may not be the list that you expected, but these songs truly got me through some heart shattering times. In fact, Kanye West's entire gospel album helped me to recover from withdrawal from my sickle cell medication. It also encouraged me to begin reading my Bible once again. So this has been my list. Please make sure to share some of your favorite gospel songs and let me know if there was one that I missed. Maybe I'll even make a longer list next time. Thanks so much for watching. I love you 
and God loves you even more. Take care.